welcome to FWE where Colquhoun was invited back by someone still the BCW champion but I think he's just keeping that but anyway yeah um, he was invited back by someone abyss he didn't know about but he wanted to show the uh, world that Colquhoun BCW or not still got this and um, yeah Knight wants the FWE champion Knight who is going up against FWE Balor who earned the championship opportunity for um, defending FWE will actually be um, having a match at the main event tonight but now we got this in a chair mania match where if you don't know what that is it's extreme rules and what's only under the ring is chairs which should be pretty hectic for Abyss if you don't know Abyss destroys anyone who comes into his way and who's gonna come into his way tonight could be Cole Quinn And here we go. Abyss. Come into the ring. This man has been through so many changes, like... He had a partner named Shards, who was just an innocent wrestler. Who was just wrestling, doing his job. and then he got to shards and it became the tag team called Broken I think there was the tag team champions at one point and shards has not been seen ever since well for a while which is actually a really big shame because he was one of the best athletes in the TGM show but Abyss only wanted to invite Cole Quinn he said to everyone backstage it's not that it's actually not that common it's very rare to have Abyss um, talking to actual people other than himself or something else it's really strange honestly to be talking to him he said he only wants this to show that ignorant brat Carl Quinn a lesson or two how can you be in the ring of this thing and not be scared? I mean, look at his fucking mask. Anyway, Cole Quinn better be thinking of some strategies in his head because this match is on the way. And Abyss has already got the elbow to the skull and throws Cole Quinn into the corner. Don't, don't take anything away from Cole Quinn, he is actually really strong, but... Anyone who's watched the TGM show before and seen Abyss, um... Would know... <laughs> that Abyss... Doesn't take jokes, he just destroys anyone in his path. Anyway, as we mentioned, Chairmania match... There is... A whole... I think it was a total of nine chairs underneath the ring that can come in use and throw them into the ring. Suplex, superplex, something. And a, talking of suplex, a suplex by Abyss, and he just taunts Cole Quinn, who is retreating to the ropes. If you don't know, Cole Quinn actually beat the FWE champion last night, Knight, 
who, like I said in Carl Quinn's entrance, actually wants a piece of um, Carl Quinn again to show that Yang weak. And look at this! Already the chairs have been put into play, cracked him around the heads of Carl Quinn. And uh, oh no. DDT on the chair! The referee just checking on Cole Quinn because these sorts of matches can get very violent, very fast. Anyway, yeah, you have to one oh sleeper hold, sleeper hold, tucked in. Good night, Cole Quinn. You've got to be wondering if Knight is actually fit for the main event. Colquhoun's getting out of it and throws a this over the head. Um, you have to actually wonder if Knight would actually be ready for tonight because obviously, like we said, he took a lot of beating from um, New Year's Chaos in the FWE Championship match. If you did not see that, go see that. It was an amazing match. But anyway, and then he took some punishment in the FWE versus BCW pay-per-view, well, free per view, versus Cole Quinn, and Cole Quinn with a neck breaker. And he's looking to finish him off. I'll finish off in a minute. Cole Quinn, oh, shoulders up by Biss at two. Took some damage from Cole Quinn after all the stuff that Cole Quinn did. And, um,. Cochran throws a piece into the chair. Anyway, I need to stop getting distracted. And then he had to be put into the FWE versus BCW match. Which also took quite a lot of damage out of night. So, is he ready to perform here tonight against one of the bestest athletes wrestling has ever seen, Finn Balor? We're going to have to see, but right now... Out of nine chairs, two have been, two is in outside the ring even. One is outside the ring, one is inside, and Abyss just throwing Cole Quinn to the outside. Remember, Sister Abigail! Remember, there is nine chairs underneath the ring, but next to our other announcement table, there is, at uh, ringside, there is two other chairs you can pick up. Oh no, you know what Abyss is looking for here. Mandible Claw! Mandible Claw is in! Fingers deep down the throat of Carl Quinn! Carl Quinn passes out! Just more fuel for Abyss. Abyss trained by the WWE superstar Bray Wyatt getting all the dark energy he needs from the fiends, from normal Bray Wyatt, whatever. This man is a force to be reckoned with. And just like that, just one mandible claw and Abyss has taken home. No, he ain't taken home anything. He's beaten Colt. What's going on? It's gone all dark. I can't see anything. What the hell is going on? Okay, here we go. The number one contender for the um, Lightning Championship, FWE Lightning Championship. The one, the Intercontinental Champions. Two-time Intercontinental Champion, one of the two even, Alex Stevens, coming out. Harvey's returning night, quote unquote, the new Harvey. He hasn't been on this show for a while, like Finn Balor, but the 
the thing is, Finn Balor was one of the greatest signings, but we never really saw him, and a lot of people were very happy when they saw him return, but no one really seems to remember Harvey, because he never really was on the shows in the first place, but... He said that he's here to make an impact, he's been training. Anyway, PJ Styles looking to finally get himself a solo championship and finally end his losing streak. If you don't know, PJ Styles is currently actually on a losing streak. And now this man is not ready to mess around. He said he is not messing around tonight. He is getting the championship opportunity. He's eliminating both men. If you don't know, this is a triple threat elimination match. So one man will be going out. You could be get teamed on at any moment. Paul was just making his entrance quick. PJ Styles, Paul, whatever you want to call him. Making his entrance quick, making his name known. But he knows the only way he's ever going to get a championship opportunity at this rate is by winning this match and then he'll be going against one of his best friends Jack, well one of his friends his best friend is Dylan but it doesn't matter and he's going against one of his arch nemesis in real life I think well anyway I know this Batman hates him Harvey making his return tonight no theme song because he only returns a few nights ago when we booked the show so but I don't think he has a theme song but anyway he looks ready he again he hasn't really been showing impacts when he was on the TGM show now his first match on FWE is here and he's ready he's ready to make an impact on his career he's been training for months now for this moment he's finally been booked again and he's ready to take home the FWE Lightning Championship but first he needs to win this match Alex looks ready, Alex Stevens, PJ Styles looks like he's ready to charge at someone and Harvey wants to get this over with. Match has started, Harvey wants to get this over with just so he can get his championship opportunity quicker and the knee straight to the nose and now strangling Harvey. And now Paul with the German suplex. PJ Styles, Paul, whatever you want to call him, his original name was Paul. But his gimmick right now is PJ Styles, a massive boot caught by Alex Stevens and a massive right knee. But then Harvey bringing Alex Stevens down. And now he's going straight for Paul. Oh, close eye. And Paul punching Harvey into the midsection and brings down the arm. And a close eye right to the nose. And Alex Stevens now working on Paul. But a Paul grabbing the ar left arm down. Harvey falls to the outside trying to use the stairs to get back up. Twisting the arm. Lots of fast paced action at the beginning of this match. Harvey just recovers. Remember if one pinfall happens it doesn't count. You and one other person is still in the ring. And a massive roundhouse kick. And Harvey with a big punch to Paul and off the ropes and a splash just landed on Paul PJ Styles and Harvey now just bringing Alex Stevens down as you can see nobody is messing around here Paul with the takedown and firing shots trying to dig into Harvey's head and now Paul just damaging the arms look at this just trying to loosen them up for the armbar would be even more destroying than it already is and look at this from Alex Stevens combination and Harvey brings Alex Stevens down he wants to put this between him and Paul just 
they those two do not like each other and he's gonna try to take out Alex Stevens right here PJ Styles interrupting the move massive punch to the midsection and Alex Stevens now working on pull throw Irish whip but then Harvey trying to Irish whip Alex Stevens into the turnbuckle and now Alex Stevens breaks through whatever Paul's looking for what's this oh forget what that moves called what is Harvey doing jawbreaker on Alex Stevens and it looks like Harvey hurt himself Harvey knocking them both outside the ring taunting Paul PJ Styles to the outside and I'm bringing Alex Stevens back into the ring PJ Styles only just recovering and uh, sod slam and PJ Styles gets back in Harvey pays attention Hurricane Rana and bring in Harvey back up and look at this the rowdy combo combination of punches and twisting the arm making sure that our arm will be locked in soon for the arm bar and a cover on Alex Stevens to eliminate him from the match for the FWE Lightning Championship number one contender PJ Styles has done it Harvey looks like something there and an arm bar the arm bar and he's twisting the arm how will Harvey break out of this he's gonna have to tap he's twisting it making sure that there's no way of Harvey breaking out look at this Harvey now punching the jaw of PJ Styles the losing streak could have ended there and Harvey with the death shot grip choking Paul out trying to choke PJ Styles out PJ Styles breaks out holy crap it's not done there S2O plants him And a cover on PJ Styles looking to end pin there no shoulders up at two PJ Styles sits up Harvey doesn't want to lose his debut match Paul wants to end his losing streak so these two have got to all to play for both people want to win their first ever there's the stunner from Harvey Boat first ever solo championship the referee has to count this oh that was Harvey's finisher and Paul kicks out at two PJ Styles oh this is close this is a really close one right now Harvey bring in PJ Styles to the corner slamming his face and oh an elbow to the midsection Harvey off the rope super kick Harvey off the rope again super kick Harvey off the rope one last time super kick holy god and a massive drop kick and Harvey now to the top Massive three six thirty splash. I believe that's a six thirty anyway. And now DNT cutting PJ Styles open. This is the chance for Harvey. He knows he has to show that he has what it takes to become a champion and everything like that. This is the way and another one making sure PJ Styles lands on his head. And Harvey is out of breath. The winner of this match will go on to face the Lightning Champion, which is Jack. And here we go, another death grip. Another death grip choking PJ Styles out. It looks like he's about to pass. It looks like he's about to go out. No, oh, Harvey's forced to let it go because he wasn't going to go. Here it comes. Here's the stunner. It's over. It is over for PJ Styles. The losing streak goes on. Harvey is the number one contender for the FWE Lightning Championship. On his debut match against someone who they both hate each other pretty much. Worst enemies and Harvey has just put Paul to the ground. PJ Styles, well deserved victory right there. 
And now here comes the final match. Here we go, main event matchup. FWE Balor. Versus the FWE Champion Knight. And now you've got to think what is Knight going to do? He's facing someone like Finn Balor, FWE Balor, Finn Balor, whatever. He's already been injured and he's probably tired. He's been on so many shows recently. Finn Balor doesn't even care that he's out of time, he's just happy to be here. His new theme song, Come Into The Ring. Well, he's using it for now. He doesn't have to be in time, he's just enjoying it with the crowd, looking to become the FWE Champion. Remember this man, I believe, was the TGM Intercontinental Champion as well. Unless that was Alex Stevens who fought thingy for the Corbin for the Intercontinental Championship. Anyway, this man has challenged for it. This man has been a tag team with the boss. And this would be a dream match for many fans. And the fact that this man is the one who saved FWE, I, th I think it's fair that this man is the one who gets an opportunity at the FWE Championship. Now, I'm just saying it right now. I think it's over for the night. But it's his first championship defense. First championship defense for the night. And anyway, here he is. Some fans are booing him. I don't know why. If the fans are booing him or not, he doesn't care. But look at the comments of this video because he's probably gonna put a um promo in there somewhere. And they're actually really fucking good. Anyway. This man, what can he not do? And let's be honest here, Alex did just delay the inevitable. This man was going to win the championship either way. The only reason he didn't have that ladder match was because of this. And then he said that in the comments and then New Year's um, chaos comes around. What does he do? Every single person was inside the ring. What does he do? He pins Alex, I believe it was. Here we go, the match is under goddamn way right this second. These two are going to waste no time. Look, already a uh, super kick, but it was nobody home. Finn Balor and the FWE Balor bringing them to the ropes. Kick right to the leg. Throws Knight through the middle ropes. He's gonna go fly. FWE Balor's gonna fly already. Over the top rope. Remember, this can't end in a count out. If it does, FWE Balor does not get the championship. It has to be from a pin for a submission. And oh, into the ring post. And Knight is just saying, I'm still in this. I don't care what happens. Knight has to do something here. He can't let FWE Balor go to the top ropes or anything. It'll get him in a position that FWE Balor would like because then it'll be over. He's fought about three matches in the space of a week. So it's going to be pretty hard to defend his championship right here, but he can do it. And let's not forget that Finn Balor also has a Demon Roy 
kick to the midsection and then a drop kick. And that demon could have came handy in tonight, but... Oh, Fireman's carry. Oh! Knees right to the midsection. Knight goes rolling out. A very smart move. And now FW Balor charges after him. And a knee! Almost sending him into the barricade. Jesus! But then FW Balor repelling him with a chop and then a sling blade and an elbow. Knight has still got it in him. And throws FW Balor into the apron. And he nearly lands into the ring post. He's straight back up. I think Knight was going for a count out there. Straight back up though. FWE Balor, he didn't expect it. Let's not forget that FWE Balor wearing the same attire that he did for um, FWE versus BCW where he came back last minute and saved the sh um, FWE. If you did not see that, then please watch FWE versus BCW because it was a great show bringing um, Night Down. And now an arm bar in from FWE Balor. Is Knight going to tap and lose it? No, he isn't. He's going to go for a roll up, but couldn't get it all in. And now, what's he looking for here? Oh, I thought he was going for a roll up there. Would have been a really good attempt. Do it, moonsault. And you can feel him. He's been doing that. I think he was doing that against Cole Quinn and all. Feeling his midsection because... And that midsection must be destroyed right now. Everything of it. He's gone for it again, Moonsault! Every time, it hurts Knight more than the actual opponent. And now Knight's going to go to the top to retain the FWE Championship right now. He's going to have to do something to beat FWE Balor, who has this much momentum. And the crowd behind his back. Fireman's carry. Wait! Knight gets out of it. Think he's looking for that move again. FWE Balor gets straight back up and hits the, uh, well, thing there. That's a massive punch to the head. And now, look, he's saying, is this your champion? And just throws him across the ring. Knight's going to have to do something here. He's just won the goddamn championship and he lost his first match. Luckily, it weren't retaining it. And a massive heel kick. This is the night we know. Trying to get back into the matches. Look for that move again. And now just head crank. A head crank. To FWE Balor's head. Uh, in, no. Wait. Hold on. FWE Balor's back into it. He's going to look for the spinning power bomb. You see how much collision that hit. And he's going to go for the cover for the FWE Championship. Here we go. FWE Balor does it. He has beaten the FWE Champion. It was no surprise to anyone, was it? Knight was just way too injured. He said backstage he's only going into the challenge because... Because he just wants to prove himself that he can do anything. That's been FWE. If you've enjoyed it, the first FWE of 2020, I think. But the first proper show. No, it's been the first actual proper show apart from the tournaments. So, if you've enjoyed it, punch that like button in the face, hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you won't miss any F future FWE episodes, and remember, you don't want to miss it next time, because next time will be Harvey versus Jack for the FWE Lightning Championship.